Good morning, Lisa. How are you? I'm great, Dr. Kelts. How are you doing? Fantastic. A beautiful day. It is. We were just talking about how lovely and warm it is out this morning. Unseasonably, it feels. <laughs> right. 36 is warm. It feels great. And, uh, t-shirt weather <laughs> Absolutely. in uh, upstate New York. Uh, but it is fantastic. So it what is. are we talking about today? Uh, well, I've noticed a couple questions um, on our Facebook support group and from clients about the use of HGH. So human growth hormone. Yes. And uh, uh, how it may benefit and help uh, egg production or egg function, Okay. Uh, some studies have suggested its use in helping the mechanical function of the egg, so it's mm -hmm. not necessarily making more eggs, yes. but it may help the quality of the egg, Interesting. which ultimately helps the quality of the embryo, yes. and, and thus may help the success and outcome. Uh, so there aren't a lot of studies out mm -hmm. there, but more and more we're adding it when we're yes. finding that uh, ovarian reserve may be mm -hmm. reduced or the ovarian function based on a stimulation may have yes. fewer eggs or the quality of the egg or embryos uh, doesn't appear to be as well and uh, no pregnancy occurs. Mm -hmm. And so using human growth hormone uh, with the stimulation, yes. Uh, although I'm suggesting that it may be worth a week before the start of the uh, stimulation uh, as, as an adjunct to, um, to other uh, treatments such as estrogen priming, uh, antioxidants, CoQ10, mm -hmm. uh, acupuncture, visualization. Yes. And I always say, talk nicely to your ovaries and your eggs. Because yes. <laughs> we're constantly saying, I have diminished ovarian reserve, my eggs are bad. Mm -hmm. And I say, turn it around, your yes. eggs are good, we have, yes. you have great eggs and great egg function. And, and some studies have shown that with meditation and visualization of the environment improving, yes. the, the antibody uh, milieu and the uh, environment does improve. So it's just it's one other piece of the puzzle to add to this. I think it's uh, very important. We're now looking at use of a combination of letrozole, okay. uh, Fumara, uh, along with a mini protocol mm -hmm. of both using a low dose gonadotropins, the letrozole, along with the growth hormone uh, in estrogen priming and in, in, in enhancing the egg function in the process. Interesting. So it's nice to gather this information as, you know, our clients, maybe they have encountered HGH, just other clients using it, or maybe they've heard it during appointments, so we really appreciate it, and as well as the positive thinking. Because I know during our last support group session, we were talking about Sometimes it's challenging for women to accept when they hear a diagnosis, maybe diminished ovarian reserve, and suddenly it's internalized as, well, something is incredibly wrong and it's not going to happen. But what I like to remind clients is that the women here are just relentlessly strong to put themselves up every single month with the great potential for heartache like they've been encountering in the past. And so not trying to take on any diagnosis or anything that may find challenging as their whole being because it's just one component. The, the information is helpful, mm -hmm. uh, but I always say if, if, you're, if you're going through the process because yes. you're not getting the success you desire, mm -hmm. there's something to work on. Yes. And rather than thinking there's a problem, mm -hmm. uh, we have to uh, step back and begin to look at the whole yes. picture. And, and uh, support group, mm -hmm. just talking in a support group, yes. it changes the oxytocin levels in the in the in the in the blood and and meditation reduces cortisol and epinephrine that's stress when you're feeling the stress there's a tendency to want to step back I say begin to think of that as a, a just a little nudge to mm -hmm. move forward ask the questions look around look out there there's so much out there mm -hmm. we're learning new things every day yes. I'm doing a lot of research right now on the uh, uh, implantation dysfunction mm -hmm. and look at the immunologic causes of, of yes. infertility and, and pregnancy failure. And I think there's a large component that we've been missing mm -hmm. and looking and being more aggressive with uh, uh, suppressants of the immune system yes. or, 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 or enhancers mm -hmm. of a, a more balanced and proper immune system. Uh, we're looking more at intravenous immunoglobulins, interlipids, steroids, but it, it is helpful, I think, for many of us that want to see some evidence. Yes. And, and even if we're not finding any evidence, I'd say that there's the unknown cause mm -hmm. and there's the mystery. Now, maybe look more at the global approach. Yes. Be smart about the process. Great. Ask well, the questions. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. As always, sharing this wonderful information, I know our clients truly appreciate it. Well, it's my pleasure. And remember, never, ever, ever give up. It's a rather than positive. I'm beginning to think a little bit differently and think more of a prosperous and productive thinking every day. Great. God bless. And happy holidays to everyone. Happy holidays.